everybody. Busy day today at Perry's. I'm in the middle of popping out all of our mini mounts. And once I pop them all out, we'll be popping them all into the luxury boxes. We have a little look around. It's a bit messy up here. This is our mini mount crafting station. As you can see, we have a section of mini mounts for each of our fragrances. And this is our station where we pour from and get all of our wax from. So we've got lots of melting wax. And in our box here is where we store lots and lots of lovely store wax. So it goes from this box into the pots and we fill them all up and then they're all ready to use. Hi Danielle. We've got a long list, pour list here. Things we have to pour. Good morning Elena. More boxes of wax ready to go in. All of our fragrance oils. Have a look at our cozy pod room, everybody. Got some more stocking up to do very soon, as you can see. Cleared us out over the bank holiday, so we've been very busy restocking. What's your favourite scent that you've tried so far, everybody? I would love to know. We've recently launched our new bundles as well, as you can see. We've got a list on the wall to help us when we're packing all your orders. And here's our mini melt packing station today. This side is clean and fresh. And the other side is family favourites. Our warehouse is situated in a perfect location in Ipswich. And we're right beside the river. Come and have a look at our lovely river. It's a gorgeous view. Willow enjoys coming and laying outside in the garden while we're busy at work. We very much enjoy being where we are here. As you can see through the window, Paul's in the office busy working. Shall we go and find out what he's up to today? Hi Paul. Hello. What are you up to today? Oh well I'm currently watching your live video. <laughs> <laughs> so the main, the main thing I do is really try, try to attract new customers. Uh, Facebook ads, that's the main thing we do, Facebook and Instagram ads. So that's what I'm busy doing this morning is creating new videos for, for Facebook. So um, hopefully you'll start to see those pop up on your timeline. Um, if so, make sure you give them a little like and a share, that always helps. Um, yeah, that's, that's my day really, busy day doing that. Lots of admin to catch up on as well. Um, it'd be great to understand what your favourite products are. I mean, actually, we always like to. One thing we love to do is ask our customers everything. Um, ask them what they like and what they want from us. Well, we as we grow, we don't want to be one of these companies that becomes faceless and um, does their own thing. We want to um, we want to make sure that our community, our group that we're building on Facebook for starters, grows and everyone continues to interact as they have been, which is great. But we also want to um, understand exactly what you want, what sort of products you like, what scents you like, and we will make them, simple as that really. Like yesterday we started the, um, we did a poll on in our Facebook group about the car fresheners. And I think 115 or so people said yes, and one or two people said no. So we're gonna start car fresheners, hopefully in the next couple of weeks as well. We'll get them on the website for free with. But um, have a good day everyone. I'm gonna carry on with my Facebook ads. <laughs> so, this is the boring part of the warehouse. Well, it depends how boring. This is where we make our cups of tea, which isn't very boring to us. 
This is usually where Paul is later on, packing up all the orders, using our new machine. So I've got a big pile of orders here to start off with, which is what I'll be getting out very soon as I've done the mini mailboxes. And I'll get them all laid out ready for him and checked, and he'll be packing them up. So my next mission is to finish the mini mailboxes. And I go along and I pick up my mini mailbox. Always gloved. And pop them in the box as I go. Have you tried our mini mailboxes? I'd love to know what you thought of them if you did. Have you got any questions for us? All of our mini mailboxes are packed by hand. They're all made by hand and packed by hand and then sealed by hand. So it's a very labour intensive job. we talk about the scents we've got in each box. So our first one in the box is Spring Awakening. This is a Lenore Duke, which is a very fresh scent. It's lovely. Then we've got Fresh Linen, which speaks for itself. Wild Mint, which is another very fresh scent. And Aloe Vera and Cucumber, which is a very relaxing scent. Questions. Will it harm their lungs or breathing? Um, the scents shouldn't harm your lungs or breathing specifically. We do send out with every box the information sheets which has got all of the allergens and what they contain in them. So this is the clean and fresh box. And the family favourites box has one as well. There's no, no parabens in them at all. And all of our pods as well have the information on the back. So all of our pods do. Which is good. So all of our fragrance oils are paraben free. And they are suitable for vegans and vegetarians as well. Which is a big bonus. How many hours does your large melts last for? Um, these melts are 110 grams. And they last approximately 100 hours. So what we like to do is, we'll pop one open, you can see the size. What we tend to do is ourselves, we'll get a knife and cut it into segments, usually around six, depending on the size of your burner and the amount of fragrance you like. And then you can re-warm the same one, same segment a few times. Any um, more questions? Where are the got? boxes on the website? The Luxury Rationale gift boxes are under gifts. So you can see them on the website. I'll show you where they are. Sorry. On our website. Click on shop and go down to gifts. And there they are. And how much are they? You can see they are £15 for two boxes. So you can choose here if you want family favourites and clean or fresh. So you can have two the same, you can have one each. And now our family favourite boxes. We've got baby powder. Our next one is Peony and Blush, which is about to be popped out, which has a nice pink one. Then we have black cherry and blueberry and vanilla. So should we pop the rest out so you can have a look at them? So here's the peony and blush that I was in the middle of popping out. So the nice pink colour. And next up is our black cherry. Any more questions? Anything else that you can read out to me, Dion? 
Are there any plans to do more of the synths in individual pods like the new snow fairy ones? So let's have a look at our pod wall and I'll show you. Your subscription box will be sent out on the 13th and that will contain four brand new scents. And then after a little while, them scents will be released on general sale. So our latest ones that were released was obviously our Snow Fairy, which was a one-off special. And over here as well, we've got our Pear Drops and Palmer Violets. But if we get enough people that would like certain scents, we're more than happy to release new ones. And from our last subscription box, we had these ones from our cocktail box. So they've all been released for general sale as well. As you can see, we have lots and lots of different scents. So all of the scents we've ever done, we've still got at the moment. We've just stopped our Christmas ones, which will be re-released for Christmas. What are your favourites and why? So what's your favourite scent, Tamer? Now that's a difficult one, that depends entirely on the weather, my mood. At the moment, at home, I have got Spring Awakening, which I have poured out this morning, upstairs in our bedroom. And downstairs, we have had Snow Fairy. We tend to like quite fresh scents. Um, let me think. Another one of my favourites, definitely a bubblegum. Do you like the bubblegum? Anything quite fruity really for us. What else have we got? Oh, I definitely like vanilla and anise. I do like that one. The, one, the vanilla ones are very good for me. Sandalwood vanilla is another lovely one. So we go check with Paul, see which one Paul's favourite is. I'm sure they'll have a different one to me. Paul, would like to know what your favourite scent is. Favourite scent? Um, I think it's very difficult to choose. It is difficult to choose, they're definitely rhubarb and rose. It's not that difficult for me actually, rhubarb and rose, <laughs> that's my favourite scent. <laughs> I love it, I love the rhubarb ones. Um, honeysuckle and elderflower, that's another good one, that's really fresh. Um, I like most of them actually. The ones I'm not overly keen on are probably the, the really heavily floral ones, but that's just my preference. Well, what we have been testing out this week, which Taylor didn't tell you a while ago, are the new scents for the subscription box. So yeah, obviously we get a um, bit of a sneak preview on that. So um, we're not going to tell, tell you anything, anything more on those, but if you are a member of the subscription, you will get that box probably towards the end of next week, I think. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to tell you about the new scents yet. <laughs> How do you decide on different scents each Lots month? Lots of research. We spend a lot of time sitting at the computer and looking at what sort of scents we like to try and hit as many categories as possible. And then we research the fragrance oil itself with the company, then we'll get little samples. I've got a little sample bottle, I'm not going to show you what it's called, but these are the size of the little sample bottles. And then we can try them out. And then, if we like them, we'll buy them in our bigger tubs. We also have our candles, some of our most popular scents, our family favourite sort of scents. Right, we've got our blueberry and vanilla here, uh, in our small tins. So we've got bubblegum, pink champagne, raspberry ripple, morning coffee, this is a very popular one. Baby powder, blueberry and vanilla, fresh lemon, mango and passion fruit, black cherry, that's been restocked. Aloe vera and cucumber, juicy orange, lemon sherbet, green tea, wild mint, apple candy, and pistachio and ice cream. 
they're very popular and you can buy them individually or in packs of three which is a very good deal and we also have some of our petals collection I've got to make some more to stock up on but these are our most popular floral scents how long do they last for they're 250 grams so I believe goodness me that's a question we'll have to ask Paul he's the maths man we'll have a look we'll, we'll sign on the website as well so should we have a look on the petals it will be under candles so here we go click on one approximately 50 hours and they're all made with natural soy wax like we use with all of our products and each of our scents has a product description for the scent so you can see it on all of the candles and the same with all of the pods as well so if you wanted to know what a scent was just here we go it's the first one and it'll give you a description of the scent how do you decide how much scent to use now that's a very good question lots of research has gone into that as well and lots of testing right at the beginning because we chose the wax that we wanted and we wanted to use 100 percent natural soy wax because it's the safest that we could find and um so we did a lot of experimenting with how much percentage to put in and the maximum amount for the, fra uh, for the wax we use is 10% oil which is what we use so we get a maximum scent throw for everybody and after lots of testing and experimenting with the scent, how much to put in and the fragrance oil temperature and everything we've worked out our best recipe and you know it's the best it could be which we're very happy with. Anything else you'd like to know, everybody? We have a photography station, which I have shown you before in photos. This is quite often where Paul can be found, popping some products on and taking some photos with a box of props we have. This is our warmers around here. We are in the process of sorting out some more. We have some more warmers on order that should hopefully come at the end of this month. We have our teapot ones, which have been very popular. Our little hearts. And one of our most popular ones that are always in stock, or we try to always keep in stock, are our salt lamps, which are over here. We have our little unicorns which are very cute but as you can see we have some empty shelves for warmers which we are in the process of getting some more if you have any particular warmers you like the idea of let us know what sort of ones you'd like any other questions guys at all Will you make an alien scent from Theory Mugler? We could very well do. If everybody you know, has got enough likes and enough people want it, we'll definitely look into it. We have all of our lids for our new scents all sticking up and ready to go on. I'm not going to show you them. <laughs> we have two big boxes full all ready to go on. Any guesses to what they could be, guys? Yeah, you've seen our previous post that we've popped up with the pictures of our stickers with a pen over the top. Click on them, have a guess, see what you think. Lots of boxes have been made up today
can I use my own electric warmer with your pods? You can. The only thing is, with certain warmers, like the Sensi warmers, we found that they don't get hot enough to melt the wax properly so you don't get the best scent throw so we recommend for best set, uh, maximum scent throw a tea light warmer but your electric warmer should be fine just you know be aware that it might not get hot enough but we do do we do have a uh, electric warmer in stock if anybody would like our pebbles warmer which is very good Will you be making all wax melts in the heart shape? All the heart shape ones, um, we're not planning to put all of them in, um, the pods into the heart shapes because it's a very, very labour intensive, very expensive, as I'm sure you can understand, to make because we have to pour them all out and it takes a very long time to pour them all, let them all sit pop them all out and then box them all which takes a very long time would you make an olympia perfume scent we might very well do we are looking at getting more perfume scents we do have some perfume scents already but the perfume ones are very popular we have a couple of on our bundles so we have a perfume one here which is dark temptation dark amber and ginger ultraviolet sage and sea salt peony and blush and peppercorn and raspberry and our luxury one above it which is amber noir black green bay black orchid black opium english pear and freesia and lime basil and mandarin they are perfume scents as i'm sure you're all aware and we're always happy for more suggestions because perfume scents are very popular so if you do have any more suggestions for them you know just comment let us know we'd love to know your feedback how much bundle would you do if you want a small heart, any any of warmer and few of the candles please? Our bundles that we have available now are all the preset pod bundles or you can go on the website and choose your own scents for pods which I can show you on the website. I'll show you our bundle selection. So we'll head along to bundles and the ones that you can choose your own scents for are pack of four, pack of eight, pack of sixteen. So you can choose whichever one you want, say which one to that one. And then the drop down menus come and you can choose whichever scents you'd like. And for the tin candles as well, you can choose when your drop down menus pop up, you can choose any of our tin candles. And how many of the mini melts do you recommend putting in your warmer at a time? Very good question. And that little information sheet will go with the luxury boxes. In every box, you will also get your warmer using your mini melt sheet. And it says the mini melts are all approximately five grams each, and we recommend using three to four at a time. And that depends on the size of your warmer, the size of the room you're using it in, and the type of fragrance that you like if you like it really strong if you like it really subtle so try popping in three and seeing what it's like would you consider using the little hearts uh, for little samples this is essentially a sample box really so you can try you can buy the two boxes which is incredibly good price so you can try out four of our most popular scents in both categories and then that will give you an idea of what the fragrance oils are like and how, how much you like them and which scents you'd like to try before then going on to try some of our pipes or candles. Samantha wants to know if she can come and work for you. And she can be paid in cosy pods. <laughs> we hear that a lot, actually. <laughs> the moment it's just me and Paul. <laughs> we don't pay him in cosy pods, though. Maybe a couple of rhubarb and rose now and again. Anything else you'd like to know, everybody?
It's very exciting having our own warehouse now. So once we've popped all our mini melts in our boxes, we'll take our box, we'll go around, and we'll seal it up using your mini melts on one side of the paper and your safety instructions on the back with our clean and fresh leaflet because that's the box we just packed. Pop them in and close up our box. And then I'll take my box over to the pile. And when I've made up all my boxes, I'll deglove and then I can place all the outside stickers on to seal them properly. And then they'll go on the pile here. I'll have two nice big tall piles later on ready to be packed and sent out to you. Sharon said you're so well organised. We do try. It's very difficult sometimes, but we do try. <laughs> Organisation is key. Anything else would like to know, everybody? What about you, Deanna Marie? What was your favourite scent you're behind the camera there? Right. I do have a very firm favourite. I'm a very fruity person, so I do love apple candy. It, it, isn't it is my absolute go-to. It reminds me of the apple washing up liquid, which I absolutely adore. Also, I love lemon sherbet. Now this one is very nice. Um, straight after I've done a bit of cleaning, I'll use my uh, lemon flash, clean on my sofas and everything. Pop a bit of lemon sherbet, just a little segment, that's all you need, in your burner, and it keeps fresh for the whole day. Talking about lemon, have you tried lemon cello? I have. That is also very nice. And another one that I can put on just after my cleaning and keeps it fresh with a nice cocktail twist. It is. Perfect for the summer. It is. Sarah would like to know, yeah. are your scents made personally by you or purchased pre-made? Purchased pre-made. We don't make our fragrances at the moment. That is something that we'd like to do in the future. But at the moment, we just vet the companies that we use and make sure that they're companies that, you know, have the same sort of values we do, that they're vegan safe and paraben free and, you know, that they're nice, decent companies, really. Um, so, but that is something we would like to do in the future is make our own. Sharon's favourite is rhubarb and rose also, like Paul's. Ah, yes, it is a very good one. And it is one that I am going to be stocking up once I finish the video today. So I'll make a couple of batches today, as well as a few other ones that are getting down to the one pile, for instance. What else have we got, anybody? Any more questions? I'd like to know what is your most top three most popular scents ordered? Well, that's quite easy. This row up here is our most popular ones. We have Baby Powder, Snow Fairy, which will be restocked today as well, Black Cherry and Fresh Linen. These four are up the top because they are our most popular ones. What's the difference between the scent on Baby Powder and Fresh Linen? Baby Powder smells exactly like the name, like you'd get Johnson's baby powder for instance, it smells exactly like that. And fresh linen smells just like you put your washing in from outside, Ooh, essentially. And they are very popular scents, along with the black cherry and snow fairy. Green tea is Wendy's favourite. Oh, green tea is a good one as well. As you know, that was just saved from being removed, along with chamomile. In our group, lots of you decided that you didn't want us to remove these two cents to discontinue them, so you campaigned against it. Donna would like to know, is there a man scent, one like aftershave? Oh, yes. Yeah. Dark Temptation. It smells just like the Lynx, essentially, and it's a very lovely chocolatey smell. It's a very hint of chocolate, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's one we gifted to my dad as well. 
He was very attractive. Alana know? would like to know, would you try more heart-shaped melts in certain scents on their own as maybe a sample? We don't have plans to do that at the moment because that's just, they're very labour intensive to do at the moment. But we are looking at altering things slightly with the heart shapes and everything to make it to make it more available with more sense so at the moment the way we do it we can't but we are looking into other ways of doing it so that we can make that available another point musky manly scent is sandalwood and black pepper mm. it is quite a nice one have you smelt this one yet Deanna Mary? I haven't give it a sniff oh wow you can really smell the black pepper can't you yeah it's very musky that's another nice one Celia would like to know I'm oh, sorry Celia said please tell me that you're stocked up on spruce and peppermint that is on our list to top up again we have our four here and that is on my list to top up this afternoon so they will I will have three full piles before the postman leaves today Jill would like to know <laughs> Jill would like to know can you make samples in wax chippings we're, that's that's an idea that we've thought about doing. We haven't done that. We have done some a competition before with some wax crumble, but that is another option that we're looking at, trying to find a way to have all of our scents or as many of our scents as we can available in smaller form. So that's another thing that's on our list to do. Melissa would like to know, what does the Snow Fairy scent smell like? And do you have a sandalwood scent? Right, sandalwood, let's start off with that. We have a musk and sandalwood, which is a very musky scent, which is one of our first scents. Donna said she's crazy for sandalwood. Oh, sandalwood vanilla. Now this is one of my favourites. It's very creamy and it just suits any room in the house I found. So they're the ones that I've got sandalwood in, other than the sandalwood and black pepper, which we just spoke about. But there are sandalwood ones at the moment. If you've got any other suggestions for them, let us know. Snow fairy. You want to know what the snow fairy smells like? It's quite bubblegummy, the, uh, what, the way I describe it. It's quite fresh. And um, if you've ever had any of the Lush, because uh, every Christmas they bring out Lush, brings out a snow fairy scent. Oh, yes. And it's very sort of tingly bubblegummy it's quite hard slight to christmas scent to it yeah it's, it's quite it. a christmasy one they bring it out every christmas and it's just exactly the same as that basically i found it's nice and sweet it is quite and sweet. you don't have to have it on for too long it fills the room and gives it a very nice aroma it does yeah especially if you're somebody like something sweet quite bubblegummy quite zesty quite long lasting as well yeah, i think very long yeah. lasting yeah we popped that in our burner on Monday and it's still going today. So we'll have that on tonight, which is quite nice. Caroline would like to know, will you be getting any different electric or standard wax warmers at all? We will. We have got some warmers on order, which we're waiting to come in at some time this month. And we are in the process of looking at getting more warmers. So what sort of ones would you like? You know, we'd like to take our cues from you to see what you'd like. We're thinking of getting more electric warmers and some of our popular ones that we've got are tea light ones. We have a definite that we're going to be keeping our salt lamp ones because they're very popular. Do you like the glass ones? We could get some more ones like this. We've got the unicorns, we had the butterflies and the hearts, so if these are something that you'd all like, do let us know. And another lovely tea light one we do have is this very popular one, which we will have to restock. It is the beautiful butterfly. It looks absolutely gorgeous all lit up. We have this in Dragonfly as well, but if, the, if they come back in stock with our suppliers, we'll definitely buy some more of them for you. Have you got any other ideas that you'd like for warmers? Caroline would like to know, any plans for a Lenore Unstoppables range? 
that is something I was researching just yesterday actually so that is something that many people have asked about and it is something that we will probably bring out a laundry collection as such so if you've got any specific ones you'd like put them in the comments and I'll research them find them out and you know see what we can do Donna said how does your sense of smell cope I take a small bag of coffee into shops to smell different ones and her friends end up walking away laughing <laughs> well you get used to it really basically you get, you get used to it you know, I'm around the fragrances all the time and I get to go out in the fresh air and sit by the river and everything and sort of just refresh my nose do you always smell very nice Tamar? I, I do, yeah. I don't need to wear perfume, that's for certain. It's just in my pores. <laughs> Ashley would like to know, what are your strongest scents? She prefers stronger smell to a subtle one. Stronger one? I would definitely go along the lines of the perfume ones are very strong. For instance, black opium. That's a very popular one. Spring Awakening is also a very strong one. She would go along our list. Yeah. Honeysuckle and Elderflower. That's very popular. That's one of Paul's favourites as well, as he said earlier. Red hot cinnamon. It's quite a little festive scent, but that's very strong as well. Let's go along, shall we? Cappuccino for the coffee lovers. That's a very strong one as well. Some more very strong ones, definitely. Amber Noir. That's a very strong perfume one as well. Have you smelt this one yet, Diana? I haven't. No. Oh wow. Let's see, what else is very strong? Our oh, Dark Temptation that we spoke about earlier is quite a strong one as well. Black Cherry, one of our most popular strong ones. What about Black Orchid? What is that? That's, that that's another perfume dupe and that's a very strong one as well. I'll say our perfume ones do tend to be quite strong. Give that a whiff. Oh wow. You can smell it here. Standing here with it open, I can smell it. It's very strong one. I also find some of the fruity ones are quite strong too. Yeah. Bubble gum for me in particular is very strong, very fruity. Reminds me a bit of my childhood actually. Mm. Some more fruity ones that are quite strong. We found pear drops is very nice. Have you tried the pear drops yet? I haven't. I need to. Oh wow! I need to try more. <laughs> The Palmer Violets is very nice. That's quite a, a sort of a fresh undertone to me, I think. And it smells exactly like the sweets you used to have when we were kids. It does. Jenna said, thank you both for all your hard work. You deserve all your success. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you all for all of your orders and all of your support. Because without Caroline, all of you, you as well. we wouldn't be able to, to do this. We wouldn't be here in our very own warehouse and, you know, doing what we really love. Melissa loves the butterfly warmer. Um, she asked, is it an electric one? And that's a tea light one, the butterfly one. But, so we have one electric one available at the moment. Some more on order. So our electric one we have available at the moment is our oh, ruby one, isn't it? I think it's also our black one. Ruby, our oh, ruby pebbles. Thing is, our electric warmers fly off the shelves. So this is our beautiful pebble. So when it's all lit up, it's a lovely red shade. So we've got the glass dish that goes on the top. It's gorgeous, very popular one. It's back for popular demand. So you'd like the idea of a butterfly electric warmer, would you then? We will have to do some research and see what we can find. Claire says, how do I order some of these, please? What would you like to order, Claire? Yeah, what particularly would you like to order? How can we help show you? Everything is available via our website, which I'll show you again our website and show you what you can order where from. We accept PayPal, which is you know, lots of people use. Safe PayPal. 
So, on our home page, in a moment. Here we go. So, you can shop, choose which, whatever you'd like. We have our monthly subscription, our bundles, gifts, reed diffusers, warmers, sentimental candles, all of our candles, and cozy pods. So, we'll click on bundles. And you can see all of our new bundles on here. So, for instance, you want the floral collection. It's got a list of the scents that are in it. So, you liked all of them. Add that to your cart. And then you go through the checkout and pay however you like. This would be good for Ashley with them um, finding stronger scents on here as well, actually. Yes, under our bundles, we have our perfume ones, our luxury collection and our perfume collection. Our very strong scents. So you can read them all here. And if you like the sound of something but you're not sure what it is, just take that over to the search bar. And then you can read the description about it and see what you think. Sharon would like to know, can you stock the tea lights? That is something that we are going to look into making as well, some soy wax tea lights for the future, which is quite nice. So we can make nice bundles of warmers and tea lights and pods. Celia would like to know, can she come for a visit and come play with the pods? She'd be in <laughs> heaven from one of the biggest cosy candles wax addicts. She definitely would. She would. I don't think she'd find anything she hasn't had yet. Because <laughs> you've had everything, haven't you, Celia? So have you tried all of our candles and petals collection then? Oh. That was the question. Is there anything else you'd like to know, guys? Claire said she's off to do some shopping. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> Gemma would like to work for you. She lives uh, in Felixstowe, and if you ever need any support in the evenings, she'd she'd love to. Thank you very much. <laughs> when we are at that stage, ready to employ, we will obviously be happy for anybody to send applications straight to Paul. Anything else I'd like to know? Well, thank you everybody for watching. I've got lots of mini mailboxes to get on with and lots of restocking, so thank you very much. See you later. <laughs>